Yeah. Welcome back to Three Real Motion Angling. I'm your man Khalil G. What's going on, Three Real Gang? I have got myself a brand new mold. Can't wait to use this mold. It's fresh out of the box. I just put, got it yesterday, actually, but I looked at it at around midnight last night, and I'm like, I cannot wait to use these. It's one of the two things that I don't have, so I figure, let's get to it. Let me show you what I got. This, which simply just looks like lines to you. It's actually a crappie bait and bluegill bait. It's a small two inch, but it's a little miniature fish with a little straight tail, a little two inches or less. And they're really good for fishing for crappie and, and fish with smaller mouths. Like you can catch bass on them and things like that, but I have got a whole rod, which I'll actually talk about in another video, but I just got a brand new finesse style type rod and I'm doing all light gear on it and light tackle, so now I have the ability to make light tackle baits. And I'm gonna start with that today and see how these turn out, do a couple colors runs and see how they look and see how it feels. So stick with me and stay tuned and let's see how they turn out together. Alright, we made it to the table. Uh, as you can see, we got everything nice and set up. I got my mold I'm going to be using right here and I have two different cups. My idea is to make something similar to what I normally see when you look at um, crappie jig baits or bait kits and things like that. They always have those really bright colors. They have the, the full chartreuse colors. They have the full pink ones and things like that. So I'm going to do a full charge chartreuse on this side and I'll try to make pink on this side and I'm gonna run one of each I'm gonna run the chartreuse size and I'm gonna run some in just all pink it's a 12 fill on the cavity on this thing I'm just gonna run one of each each time so that'll be 12 of the chartreuse and 12 of the pink and then by the end I'm gonna see if I can run them together because this very specific block which I'll show you in a little bit has been set up so that the bellies are only on one side so that you can actually pour bellies into them. When we get to that point, then I'm gonna to try to mix the two and see if I can do chartreuse bottoms and, and, and pink tops. So that way, we just put this to the ultimate test and see exactly how good it is. Let me get my colors mixed up and I'll see you in a second. All right, <clears throat> we got the first steaming hot cup out. I've already given my bait, plastics, chartreuse, a good shaking. So we're just gonna add quite a few drops of that. Cause we want the real lemon. And I mean the real lemon. The bigger black flake, maybe that'll make the difference. So I'm gonna add just one of those. I know black likes to black likes to take advantage, changing colors and stuff like that. So let's get a quick stir on this and see what we get. Yeah, that's fine though. It's still very highlightery. You can still see it. It went no longer the yellow color anymore, but. I knew the black was going to do that when I added it, I just thought I could avoid it, but there's no avoiding that. I don't know how much liquid this thing takes, I assume it does not take a lot because of how small it is. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a quick run. I have already heated this up with the torch, so it's already hot. So I'm basically just going to pull some liquid and see what we got. Apply a little pressure to it just in case, but oh, yeah. I 
All right, these have sat long enough, hopefully. This will be our both of our very first look at, well actually I just popped, so maybe there's still a little jelly in there. Maybe it is still warm. It does feel really hot and I did heat this mold up a lot, so it might still be warm in there instead of taking shape. Because that looks, I don't know, that looks very liquidy. Um, let me give that a moment. Now I think it's ready. And even if it's not, we'll find out how not ready it is together. I don't even know where to begin, so I'm just gonna pull from this side and hope for the best. Oh, that came up. I like the way this, I like this hinge on this thing. This hinge, way better than their old hinges. Like this is the old hinge that they sell you with these old big hard clunky ones. This I can deal with. Very easy, very convenient, very wonderful. Now let me, these are all t so tiny. You know, I'm not used to having baits this small, but look at these things. Yes. They're super tiny, and it's, like it's, this mold is different from the other one, so it doesn't, I don't have to spray it, it looks like, to get a good luster on the bait. They look, they look pretty good. They're all waggly, the little waggly tails. Two, three, four, five, yeah, six per side, so 12. Just like that. One mold gets you an entire bag of baits. So that's just the lemon pepper. And they actually came out pretty nice. You can see the flake in, inside the bait. So these came out really nice. Give this tomato a few shakes, so thick. Almost, truthfully, I don't really even like this color. It is so thick, so thick. I think I'm, I'm, I'm so scared of it. I'm only really gonna do two drops. Like that's how thick this stuff is to me. Like it just instantly takes over, like black does. Like I really only think you ever need one drop of that in anything. Shoot, that look how colorful, look how dark that is. The color is called tomato, so of course you get tomato soup. We're just going to add a few drops of white. Oh, geez, it just, just ran out of there. Alright, well, white is clearly trying to run up out of that thing. It's not even giving me time, so not as light as I want it to be so we can go a little heavier on the wall since it wanted to it wanted to go heavy anyway okay we can call that pink along with the pink we're gonna do a teaspoon a, half, a quarter teaspoon of holographic flake on the top all right right now this is just really thick with all the bait colors put into it and then I added the holographic flake so I gotta heat it back up now see if I can get it to a, a more usable temperature before I inject it all right we got the plastic back out of the microwave um, I'm not sure what happened there but it's color has changed again it went to a, a peachish color now it's not pink anymore I tried to add some more white, see if that would adjust the color, and it did not. Just made it a lighter version of that peach, and I don't think we burnt it. I had a heat stabilizer in it and everything, so maybe that's the original color it was supposed to be once it got all put together. Maybe the the, the real holographic flake had a part to do with it. Maybe that silver flake came off and changed the color a little. I'm unsure, but we'll see what they look like once they're pumped into a bait. Mm -hmm. 
All right, well, let's see how this color turned out. Okay. Get you focused. Right where they should be. You can barely see it. I didn't put too much holographic flake in it, just a little bit. But you can still see it predominantly. This mold pretty much does a nice job. They all come right up out of there. Pretty bodies. Very flappy tails as you can see by how jiggly they are, barely moving them. So those will probably look really good in the water. Alright. I have pulled the chartreuse back outside of the microwave again got it up to temperature and I'm going to try to pour just inside the bellies here and see if I can get this design proper Let it dry up a little bit, then we can just snap these little pieces off that are in the way. And the problem is I'm snapping them back into the mold. All right, as you can see, we got all the belly cavities filled, and we're going to now try to inject the top color on top all right we got the top layer back out of the microwave i got it on this side because up the bottom pours on the side and i use a torch to keep this warm so that um when i was ready to pour it or pump it'd be easier to bond hopefully and hopefully it's not too hot that it's going to go running i think it still should be settled pretty much so turn this up on its side and we're going to get some out and see how it goes. All right, I do think these are ready. Let's go ahead and get back in here and see what we got when we put them both together. Okay, well, the top clearly pumped properly. Let's see uh, what it looks like. <laughs> Look at that. Little chartreuse bellies. That's a bright color. You think they'll, they'll notice that in the water? A little bright pink something glittering and glowing and swimming. She might catch everything with these. I don't know. I'm new to the crappie fishing game, so to me, this looks cool. It may not be worth nothing out there in the water, but we'll never know. It looks like a piece of candy. Like watermelon bubblegum or something. But it's a very very nice to have a mold that allows you to do that where I can pour the bellies and then just pump right over the top of them designed specifically for that designed very specifically for that info that is awesome as you can see I did take the time to run some more baits and some more colors off camera and the combinations were just going back and forth so we definitely have our standard chartreuse with the black flake and then we have our version of pink with their holographic flake also and then the ones we started with where we started pouring the chartreuse bellies and we did the pink backs but then partial the way through that I realized that 
I think I like it the other way. So then I went to making the pink bellies with the chartreuse backs, which I actually ended up liking a little better. So I just went ahead and made enough of each one so that way there was enough to try and test and, and really get a good look at how they were. And I think these turned out wonderful and great. And now my color combinations are endless on what I can actually do with this mold because it's designed for me to do just this, which is pour different colors or whole colors if I feel like it. So I will more than likely be doing just that. Thank you for sticking with me to the end of the video. I hope you got a chance to enjoy this. This is just one of the new molds I got. I have another one that's gonna come out in the video next week. So ah, I've been wanting this one for a long time. The next one that's coming up is gonna be a nice saucy uh, spring summer bait and it's gonna be well worth it to have this in the collection. So I hope you enjoyed this bluegill crappie bait making session that I just had here. I love a new mold, especially something I've never got to use before, something I don't own. So this is wonderful and I'm so glad I got it. And I, now I can't sim simply just cannot wait to use it again. So thank you for spending your time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I catch up with you next time. I'm out.